Let's talk about just-in-time and lean systems. What is just-in-time? Well, just-in-time is about more than just receiving inventory just-in-time for use. It's actually a manufacturing methodology aimed primarily at reducing flow times within a production system, as well as response times from suppliers and to customers by receiving orders and inventory just in time when it's ready for use. However, there's a ton of things that go into planning when it comes to eliminating waste. Remember, just in time is a lean system and lean is all about reducing or eliminating waste and keeping cost extremely low. So let's talk about some of the fundamental concepts of just in time. So first I want to mention just in time allows material to flow like an assembly process similar to a continuous flow process when it comes to producing products. And there are a few things you want to know about a just in time environment that really puts these principles into perspective. Just in time uses general purpose machinery. Uh, reason being, when you have general purpose machinery, general purpose can do more things. It's like having a general purpose cleaner compared to a specialized cleaner. One that's only used to clean windows and a cleaner that's used to clean the entire house, right? So they don't use specialized machinery, but general purpose machinery. And then in a just-in-time environment, we produce products in small batches or small lot sizes. So remember, we get inventory just in time when it's ready for use. So one, we don't have a lot of raw material and inventory on hand, so we can't produce a lot of inventory. And that is strategic when it comes to the just in time environment. We produce in small batches and small lot sizes because we don't want a ton of inventory. We're doing this just in time ready for use. So we produce in small lot sizes. Next. Just in time uses what we call a pull system. So when we look at manufacturing, you may recall earlier I talked about the master production schedule where we produce based on a master schedule and demand, right? That's more of a push system, right? We're gonna push our products to the market. We're gonna produce them, push them to the market and expect customers to buy them. When we talk about a pull system though, just in time produces based on customer orders. We're not making anything until someone says they're going to buy it. So we're allowing the customer to pull what they need instead of forcing it on them. And that's the primary way or a good way to look at the difference between a push and a pull system. Just in time uses a pull system to where they get orders first or more of a make to order company instead of make to stock company. We don't make things to stock them, we make to order. So once we receive the order from the customer, we produce it, just in time uses a pool system. Next, it uses a process facility layout. Remember I talked about the product facility layout, which is designed for a specific product. In the just in time environment, we use a process facility layout designed for different processes. Now we could talk about ways that just in time simplifies the reduction process. One, reducing setup time. So when we think about producing a product, setup time is important. If it takes 30 minutes every morning to set up to produce our product for several employees, that adds up over time, right? If we can reduce that 30 minutes to five minutes, then we save or we allocate more time for production and take away more time from setup. One way that companies do this is after production ceases the day before, employees are required to clean their workstations and set up for that next day before they go home. So once they come into the manufacturing facility the next day, they can start production on time. So that way you're not losing any time for scheduled production. So you reduce your setup time. And then having workers in close proximity. When you're producing things in a, a continuous flow or assembly type process, you have workers that are closer because in most cases, they're going to share some of the same equipment, right? They're going to have tools that they both use or they may need something from one another. When you have to walk 
50 square, let's say 50 feet left or right, or even 100 feet every so often, or 200 feet to go to the restroom, then that's gonna take time away from production, right? That really helps when you have workers in close proximity because you don't have to shut production down as consistent. And this is where things like bathroom breaks are all taken at the same time on production lines because they don't have to shut production down as often. And another way the production process is simplified in a just-in-time environment is using what we call TPM or total preventive maintenance. And this is preventing machines from breaking down. Remember, the worst thing that can happen in a just-in-time environment is production stopping unexpectedly. So machines are taken care of during the time when production is not going on. We're being proactive here. We're going to make sure that we maintain the machines and anything that may possibly break, get those parts ordered beforehand so that we can always make sure that we stay on schedule for uh, producing our products. Uh, next here, uh, I'll mention about one of the fundamental concepts of just in time is that they have much shorter planning horizons. You may remember I mentioned in forecasting that standard six to 18 month medium range planning horizon, where in the just in time environment, the planning horizon is usually around two to three months, much shorter. Again, we're producing in smaller batches, smaller lot sizes, so that planning horizon is much shorter. And again, just like the uh, just like the medium range, as long as your planning horizon is long enough for you to produce your product, then you're OK. The next thing I'll mention here is just in time uses what we call Kanban, Kanban cards. And I'll discuss Kanban in another video. But before I move on, the last thing I want to mention is what we call just in time too. I discussed in another video uh, comparing vendor managed inventory and just in time too. But because I'm talking about just in time, I want to bring that concept up again. So just in time too, again, is when there's a strengthened relationship between the customer and the supplier, the, the company that's producing the product and the supplier. The supplier actually has someone on site helping manage the flow of inventory and information related to that company's product. That is at the manufacturing side of things at the manufacturing facility. Remember, just in time too, vendor managed inventory is on the retail side. It's almost the exact same thing where the supplier is managing the inventory in the retail store, right? But remember, just in time too is specific to the manufacturing aspect where there is an employee of the supplier working on site at the customer that is producing the product but they're doing that to help uh, manage the inventory and the flow of material and information. And I just want to mention that real briefly. So key takeaways. Just in time is a lean system designed to eliminate waste, to minimize cost and to produce products in short, small si lot sizes using general purpose machinery, simplifying the production process and doing things in a way to where they receive their inventory just in time for production.